Hey everybody, Keisha Devaney here doing a video today because I want to talk about um, I'm teaching a class on junk journaling and when I post my journals on Facebook or Instagram I always get a lot of questions about like what what kind of papers are in there or what makes a good paper for a junk journal um, really any paper I mean that's the whole point of the junk journal is to um, take all these papers that we've saved for whatever reason um, and put it into something, bring it together into an art piece. Um, so besides your plain papers that you can buy, like watercolor paper, mixed media paper, Bristol paper, um, the brown craft paper, um, there's so many other papers that we have sitting around. I mean, I literally went through a couple drawers at home and just emptied out all these just random miscellaneous types of papers. And I thought, oh, all of these are gonna look really cool in a junk journal. Um, so business cards, okay. So maybe our journal is not this big, but we can make little pockets or we can sew these together and do something fun with them. You know, it just really takes a creative mind to um, figure out how to, you know, join these things um, in a very fun and pleasing manner. Uh, I cannot remember what these are called. I think they have a specific name. They're like the vellum, but it's a different name. But anyway, these these little envelopes are awesome. Um, the postcards. I this probably came in a box from something I purchased. Um, a bookmark would be fun. Letters. A letter from my dad. Um, more business cards. There's a cute little envelope that I again I saved it. I liked it. Um, what else? Another bookmark. Uh, Christmas card, probably from my dad. Um, postcard, Christmas card. Notes, people throw these in my, their packages. There's a coupon for something. Birthday card. Craft paper, this brown, this brown from a paper bag. Be fun. Tags. Okay. <laughs> a bookmark for my mom that she made, laminated something. I thought this would be really kind of cool in a journal. Another tag someone made me. Here's a receipt for a um, some money that was raised to help my mom's dog when he had his uh, her his amputation, and uh, I saved it because that was a lot of work. And I'm gonna put that in there. This I don't know what this is. That'll be cool. Looks like something spilled on it. That'll be cool in there. More postcards, stickers, all these things people give me. Receipts that fund money from stores. Um, these are from some stamps. Is this Tim Holtz? These are like the stamps go on there. But I was like, oh, these would be really cool, right? Save stuff like this. This is from my pharmacy, more of those envelopes that I like. Yellow envelopes, junk mail. Um, you might tea stain or coffee stain things. These are some envelopes I coffee stained like forever ago and still have a bunch of them. Envelopes. What about old artwork? I'll easily fold this up to the size of a journal, cut it. Um, stickers, that's super fun. And then um, cereal boxes. I love, well, I love crunch berries, but also cereal boxes, any kind of box from, you know, food is fun to cut up and use. And it also off also offers um, good strength and bulk. I like my journals to feel like really strong and bulky and good signatures in there. So anyway, hope that gives you a rough idea. I know you can go through all the drawers and places that you store things or save things and come up with a nice collection and don't even don't even and let's not even get started on um like vintage papers you know there's all kinds of vintage papers just be wary of um vintage paper that's just as soon as you touch it starts to crack you know falls apart that's not good paper to use um you could collage with it but i don't know that it'd be a strong paper for an actual um page but anyway those are some ideas for you and um, I hope to see you in class. Take care.